We want to work with everyone to make all of the good stuff that we're going to hear about today, we need that to work. Uh, we have uh, identified seven areas. Uh, you, we have a presentation and a champion for each one of these areas. Rarely do we scratch beneath the surface of what's really made that what it is, what's driven it. And so the university then acts as an intermediary and a critical friend and not the central actor, which is um, critical to the main, I suppose, objective of widening participation so far as possible. We're bringing some of that programming work, some of that festival work into Medway, uh, particularly around the children and young people offer. Looking at match groups of people and determining that uh, the outcomes for people in extra care supported housing um, can be, be better. The conditions outside the buildings, the microclimate, really influence what is taking place in the streets, in the parks, in the different areas, and the climatic conditions have a major impact on that. Hill is not being dealt with necessarily. I mean, what hospitals deal with is the symptoms, but of course the nature, the reason for it, uh, is well outside it. It's the psychosocial environment it's about opportunity, it's about creativity, what our housing looks like, the way our streets are laid out. It's the relationship between the space, the placemaking and the economics, which has to be inseparable if we are talking about the resilient town centre. Even when there's a, a, a good provision of green infrastructure in low-income neighbourhoods, this is poorly maintained, and that deters people to use green infrastructure, parks, um, gardens because they don't feel safe, because they're dirty and because they're, they're not sufficiently managed. But I'd like to be a little bit provocative here. Because I think that this heritage is not fully mapped, it's not fully known, and it need, therefore needs to be recaptured. And it's not necessarily taken into account in our pathway to the future. And this is the area where we can help. So yeah, got quite a lot of inspiration actually, and um, I really like the the focus on the impacts on climate change or marginalised communities. There is this intangible that is then connected to what uh, you were saying later on, like the future sort of heritage, and it's about how do we see us, how we would like to be in the future, and to deliver the end goal. And the end goal is for the people who live in Intra. Mm. That's what it's for. It's not for, <coughs> wouldn't it be nice if we had a, had a nice gateway? It's about the people who live here now and in the future. We kind of romantically leap from the past mm -hmm. to the future and we don't deal with the, how, how the do we share the, the outcomes of the immediate past that meant the Pentagon got built in the first place. Mount Batten House got built in the first place. It would be nice actually to get an academic input for you to be critical friends, perhaps to tell us what happens when you get huge influxes of new buildings into areas. Is there a way that perhaps we can be steered away? Yeah, we all have a shared purpose here. You know, it's, it's something we all want to achieve and I just think it's how we build on this and at the same time take account of development which still is happening. We react to developers coming forward, you, you have no choice.